My name is Dr. Chris Hartnick, and um, I had asked um, Jesse's mom to come in and talk to us about the hyperglossal nerve stimulator because I wanted other parents to get a sense of what it was like for her to make a decision to put new technology in and to do a surgery that, that has never been done before. And maybe other parents were asking very similar questions about um, how do I feel about new technology and what are the risks and what are the benefits and what questions should I be asking and, and how did it go? And um, so to set the stage, um, this, this, this is a hypoglossal nerve stimulator and, and um, what this is designed for, it's, it's like a pacemaker. And it's a pacemaker for kids who have Down syndrome and who have um, very severe sleep apnea despite the fact that they've already had their tonsils removed. Because uh, as probably all of you who are watching this who uh, know, your children who have Down syndrome, they're, uh, they're, most of the sleep apnea is because of the tongue can be very, very large and can obstruct uh, at night. And we can try to use CPAP, which is a, a mask at night, but so many of your kids may have um, sensory integration issues and be very hard for them to wear a mask at night, as I'm sure you know. Um, for kids who have terrible sleep apnea and it's putting a strain on their hearts, which may already be um, strained because of other uh, um, symptoms of, of Down syndrome, sleep apnea can be very hard on the heart. And sometimes we think about putting a trach in, which is a tube that's in the neck so that they can breathe. Um, and we definitely don't want to do that. So for those kids who are either trached where we want to remove the trach, or those um, kids who are age 10 to 21 now but have Down syndrome, severe apnea, and can't tolerate uh, CPAP, this is uh, a device that uh, will, when they are asleep, sense that they are breathing or trying to breathe, and then it acts by a little wire that sits underneath your, um, right underneath their rib cage, but under the skin so they never feel it. Goes up and there's a little, uh, this is a processor, this is the current processor, and this is the new processor, and it's much smaller now, and this one, um, you can have an MRI, whereas this one you couldn't have an MRI before, but it registers that, that the, um, your child is trying to draw a breath, and then it sends a signal through another wire which goes up right in just below the tongue to the nerve that moves the tongue forward to tell the tongue um, my, your child's trying to breathe so the tongue should move forward so that your child doesn't obstruct and that's the, re that's the rationale for this procedure.